in this video I have explained the procedure to find root of an equation by using newton raphson method here i have also solved one problem to find root of an equation by using nr method like the video subscribe to the channel share this video link with your friends write the comments gain the knowledge and rule the world to find root of an equation by using newton raphson method procedure let f of x is equal to 0 be the given equation and let us assume the root is near to x and this will be given in the question if it has been not given you need to find the nearest value by substituting the value in f of x that means taking the values of x as 0 1 2 or minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like that we need to take the value of x and substitute that x value in f of x and which will give the f of x nearly equivalent to 0 consider that as the initial guess and that will be the x and value then the newton raphson formula is given by xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where n is equal to 0 1 2 etc here f dash of xn is nothing but differentiation of f of xn with respect to x find the root of the equation x cube minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 up to 3 significant digit using nr method newton raphson method the solution whatever the equation has been given that one write it given x cube minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 and as i told in the procedure the given equation has to be considered as f of x therefore write let f of x is equal to x cube minus 4x plus 1 and to find the root by using newton raphson method in the formula we will be using f dash of x that means we need to find the differentiation of f of x with respect to x first we shall know the differentiation formula for x to the power n that is differentiation of x to the power n with respect to x dxn divided by dx is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 differentiation of x to the power n with respect to x is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 therefore now differentiate f of x with respect to x that you will get f dash of x is equal to 3x square minus 4 how you get that one the first term is x cube that means it can be written as 3 into x to the power 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so it will be 3x square and the second term minus 4 into x so 4 is a constant keep it outside and x so x in the sense x to the power 1 so it can be done as of differentiation of x divided by dx is equal to 1 into x to the power 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 x to the power 0 is 1 so 1 into 1 will be 1 and this one along with the constant that is a minus 4 if you multiply minus 4 into 1 will be minus 4 the next term is a constant differentiation of a constant with respect to x will be equal to 0 so we can write plus 0 since it is not the necessary to write that one uh, we have omitted that one for that purpose i have written f dash of x is equal to 3x square minus 4 and here one thing you can observe they have not given the initial guess that is x naught value is not given we need to find it since the initial guess has been not given we need to find 
that one by substituting the values of x as 0 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like that so first i will consider x as 1 and i will find f of 1 f of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 4 into 1 plus 1 is equal to minus 2 it is 4 from 0 next take 2 f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 4 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 1 that means now it is nearly equal to 0 so according to the fundamental property of an equation if a and b two values exist such that f of a and f of b are of an opposite signs then there exists at least one real root between a and b so here 1 and 2 are the two values for that one f of 1 and f of 2 are of an opposite signs that means there exists one real root between 1 and 2 for that purpose i will consider f of 1.5 and i will find f of 1.5 f of 1.5 is equal to 1.5 cube minus 4 into 1.5 plus 1 is equal to minus 1.625 it is too far from the root of the given equation as compared to f of 2 because f of 2 is 1 whereas f of 1.5 is minus 1.625 that means if you consider f of 1.5 the number of iterations required will be more for that purpose i will consider the x naught value as 2 consider x naught is equal to 2 and solve the root that means make the steps or do the iterations by considering x naught is equal to 2 by using newton raphson method formula to find the root of a given equation x cube minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 x naught is equal to 2 i am considering in this equation we know that by newton raphson method the formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn f dash of xn is differentiation of f of xn with respect to x where n is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 etc here remember f dash of xn is differentiation of f of xn with respect to x now we shall find the root of an equation by considering the initial guess as 2 that is x naught is equal to 2 since it is the first iteration first we have to find f of x naught and f dash of x naught that is f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 4 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 1 the next f dash of 2 is equal to 3 into 2 square minus 4 is equal to 8 this is f of x naught and f dash of x naught we know the formula to find the root of an equation by using nr method and that formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn since it is the first approximation the first approximation is we can write x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 here x0 is 2 and f of 2 is 1 and f dash of 2 is 8 so write that one here and we get x1 is equal to 2 minus 1 divided by 8 so 1 divided by 8 after that this has to be subtracted with 2 in the calculator while calculating you need to write in this way open the bracket 2 minus open the bracket 1 divided by 8 close the bracket again close the bracket so this will give the answer and that answer will be x1 is equal to 1.875 x1 is equal to 1.875 so x1 is 1.875 now we shall find 
f of 1.875 is equal to 1.875 q minus 4 into 1.875 plus 1 is equal to 0 0.0918 which we get by rounding off to 4 significant digit after the decimal point. To see the rules of and rounding off, see the previous videos in my channel. The next find f dash of x1 that is f dash of 1.875. f dash of 1.875 is equal to 3 into 1.875 square minus 4 is equal to 6.5469. Here also we are writing 4 significant digit after decimal point and here also the rounding of and rules has to be followed. This is the second iteration. The second iteration is that is the second approximation is and we know the formula of NR method and that formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. So here since it is a second approximation we can write x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. Here x1 is 1.875 f of 1.875 is 0 0.0918 and f dash of 1.875 is 6.5469 therefore we can write x2 is equal to 1.875 minus 0 0.0918 divided by 6.5469 in the calculator this can be done as open the bracket 1.875 minus open the bracket 0 0.0918 divided by 6.5469 close the bracket again close the bracket and whatever the answer you get that will be an x2 and here I am writing by rounding off to 4 significant digit after the decimal point and that value is x2 and x2 is equal to 1.8610 1.8610 since we have not got the root which is correct up to 3 significant digit, we have to repeat the calculation part by doing the another step that is the third iteration, the third approximation. x2 is 1.8610. Now find f of x2 and f dash of x2. f of 1.8610 is equal to 1.8610 cube minus 4 into 1.8610 plus 1 is equal to 0 0.0012. The next point f dash of 1.8610 is equal to 3 into 1.8610 whole square minus 4 is equal to 6.3900. And one thing you can observe f of 1.8610 you are getting 0 0.0012 that means it is coming nearer to 0 that means you are approaching to the root of a given equation now since it is a third approximation third approximation is the formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn since it is a third approximation, we can write x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2. x2 is 1.8610 and f of x2 is 0 0.0012 and f dash of x2 is 6.3900 and that we can write x3 is equal to 1.8610 minus 0 0.0012 divided by 6.3900 and it will give the answer and that one we are writing by rounding off to 4 significant digit after the decimal point and that answer is x3 is equal to how much we get that one when we do the calculation and that value is x3 is equal to 1.8608 and you know the calculation part how to be done in calculator open the bracket 
1.8610 minus open the bracket 0.0012 divided by 6.3900 close the bracket again close the bracket so this will give the answer and that answer is 1.8608 which is four significant digit after rounding of after decimal point It means we have written four significant digits after rounding of after the decimal point and that value is 1.8608 and here you can observe up to two significant digit it is same x2 is 1.86 and x3 is 1.86 but we need to find up to three significant digit that means we need to go for the further step that means we have to go for and fourth approximation now x3 is 1.8608 now find f of x3 and f dash of x3 f of 1.8608 is equal to 1.8608 cube minus 4 into 1.8608 plus 1 is equal to 0.403 that means for f of 1.8608 you are getting almost nearer to zero that means this is the correct root which you are getting now find f dash of 1.8608 and it is equal to 3.18608 square minus 4 is equal to 6.3877 and one thing you can observe when i have written f of 1.8608 i have written five digits after the decimal point but in the previous cases i have written only four digits after the decimal point in this case i have considered five significant digit there is no rule that you need to consider five significant digit you can just consider four significant digit also that means you can just write zero also now fourth approximation is the formula of nr method is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn therefore what we can write x4 is equal to x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash of x3 x3 is 1.8608 and f of 1.8608 is 0.403 and f dash of 1.8608 is 6.3877 therefore we can write x4 is equal to 1.8608 minus 0.403 divided by 6.3877 in the calculator you can write open the bracket 1.8608 minus again open the bracket 0.403 divided by 6.3877 close the bracket again close the bracket and this will give the answer and that answer is x4 is equal to 1.8608 and this is the same as that you have got for third approximation that is x3 is 1.8608 and x4 is 1.8608 as i told instead of writing 0.403 we can write just zero that means 1.8608 minus 0 divided by 6.3877 so this will be equal to 0 divided by anything will be zero 1.8608 minus 0 will be equal to 1.8608 therefore the required root is 1.8608 which is correct to four significant digit after the decimal point for the given equation x cube Minus 4x plus 1. They are asked up to three significant digit, but we have found up to four significant digit, and that is 1.8608. 1.8608 is the root for our given equation. X cube minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 by using Newton-Raphson method. Like the video. subscribe to the channel share this video link with your friends gain the knowledge and rule the world